bring you down. You're amazing just the way you are. You are beautiful, you are nice, you are original. This is the age where they're transitioning into high school. And this is where um, it's really important that they learn different coping strategies um, and different skills that can help uh, get them through the difficult moments of, of teenage years. Uh, so we try to just teach them different ways, uh, looking at how they think about different situations, how they can change their, their thoughts uh, into more positive thoughts from negative thoughts, uh, communication skills, communication strategies to try to deal with conflict with peers, with adults. Um, I think it was really important that um, we had all these workshops and because you really got to understand that mental health, it's not something that you can see. It's something that's on the inside. And so I think it's really good that they came here because we really understood that even when you think you're trying to defeat the impossible, you can actually do it. It's really important to talk to young people uh, at any age about LGBTQ issues because what we find is the lack of awareness really leads to a system of oppression and discrimination and so by talking about it, by sharing our stories, we know that young people become more sensitized to the experiences of LGBTQ people. They learn about that culture, that community, that diversity and then we find that they're able to be more respectful because they know how. LGBTQ kids need to find a way to be kind to themselves and other LGBTQ kids too. And then uh, cis and straight kids need to also find a way to promote an atmosphere of respect and tolerance. And to promote an atmosphere of respect and tolerance, it's not about not bullying kids, but celebrating all kids for who they are and, and their experiences. I really learned today that like to cope with issues in your life you have to seek help from others like seek guidance from other people instead of just like locking all these emotions inside yourself because seeking other people is proven to be therapeutical for like the person who's sustaining this uh, mental trauma so really just reach out and like talk to your friends and family and therapists and your school and like your principal and your teachers just like Share your experiences and it'll, it'll help. I think it's really great that they're teaching kids this now because back then they probably wouldn't be doing this and they just continue their normal lives. Like, and other people are unaware and it can just escalate and escalate and escalate until suddenly it's too late and something bad happens. I feel like mental health is not something we talk about a lot. Well, you deal with it your whole life, but especially as you're kind of going through like teenagerhood, your hormones are changing and stuff, you're gonna have a lot of different emotions and you have to make sure that you stay in good physical health and mental health and take good care of yourself. I did grade seven and grade eight here, so a reasonably long time ago, but it was, I don't wanna say it was positive because I, I was going through a lot with my mom and uh, my home life was pretty disruptive. My mom was dealing with a lot of mental illness, so, here, uh, being in school at that time was pretty tough. I think, um, particularly when I was a kid, nobody talked about this stuff. So part of the reason I never felt safe in an environment wasn't because I was like afraid of teachers or anything, or I was really scared of school. It was more that there was no natural opening. I learned that it's important if you know somebody who has a mental illness to just let them know that like, you love them, like, no matter what, and that, like, you can help them. I know there are ups and downs, but also don't forget that you are 13 and 14 years old, and you're allowed to be